Raise your hand if you've ever been stuck in a rut. Me! Hello and welcome back to Chats on the Road When It's Raining with Tyler. You like that title? I just came up with it right now. I am here to speak on the subject of being kind of down, discouraged. I'm never going to get good at guitar, unmotivated to practice, thinking about hanging up the guitar for good. Guess what? I feel like that, well, I don't want to say all the time. It is something that's crossed my mind and it actually happened very recently. Can you believe that? I don't know anything about chemical imbalances or sometimes, you know, when you wake up and you're just like off. I don't know if that ever happens to you guys, but sometimes I wake up and I'm just like lost. What am I gonna do about this feeling. I don't want to play guitar. I don't want to create anything. I have guitar courses on the internet. I have YouTube videos with education and entertainment, stuff like that. But where am I going? I think the same feeling applies to playing guitar. What am I doing? Where am I at right now? Where am I going with guitar? What's the point? How do I get better? I don't feel like practicing to get better. I just want it all to be figured out for me. Sorry if I'm rambling, but I'm just kind of trying to externalize my thoughts and uh, maybe you can help me make sense of them. The point is we all reach these emotional boundaries and I think we find a way to compartmentalize them most of the time but there are some days when it's just like Ugh, what am I doing? Ugh, I hate everything. Sell all my guitars, sell all my amps, all my pedals, I don't care anymore, it's all pointless. If you ever feel like that, you're not alone. So, how do we deal with this? Well, I'll tell you how I deal with it. This is not a full one-size-fits-all solution. I'm sure there are variations on this solution that you can use for yourself. But, for the most part, I think this is sort of a blanket statement that you can mold to fit your personality and your circumstances. So here's what I do. Step one, take a moment to acknowledge all that you've accomplished. And as far as guitar goes, I find the most effective way to do this is to actually flip your guitar left-handed, or if you're a lefty, flip your guitar right-handed, and try to play. That's where you started. Now, flip it back the way you know how to play it, and play some stuff. That should give you a little sense of accomplishment. The next thing to do is to put on your absolute favorite song, or your favorite backing track, the thing you like playing along to the most and rip over that. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, try to be imperfect. Just let all the notes come out. And I find this is extremely liberating as a musician because I myself am always focused on getting better and pushing myself to my limits when I practice. No, I'm not gonna play over that one, four, five blues progression. I've been doing that since I was 14. I have to try something new and challenging. That's not a bad mindset to have, but again, we are trying to resurrect ourselves from this hatred of the current moment. And to do that, we have to inject all good things. And I'll tell you what, a one, four, five blues is gonna do that for me. Maybe you like a nice D Dorian jam. Maybe you like a nice E Lydian jam. Maybe you like a whole tone jam. Whatever your jam is, put it on and let the notes happen. Now this next step is optional, but I find it's really kind of meditative. I restring and clean my guitars when I'm feeling like I'm in a rut or in some sort of discouraged mood because when your guitars are looking all nice and pretty and playing the best that they can, that gives you a little more incentive to play them, don't you think? It makes you remember why you picked that guitar up in the first place. Another tip I have for you once you've kind of reignited that flame a little bit with the jamming, take out a notepad or use your phone or your computer or whatever. Write down some goals. What do you want to get better? Actually tangible goals, not like I want to become the best guitar player ever, but I want to be able to do legato on the three note per string major scale modes at 140 beats per minute. I want to be able to bend any note on the G, B, or E strings in perfect tune every single time. I want to memorize one minor seven arpeggio, one major seven arpeggio, one dominant seven arpeggio, and one 
minor seven flat five arpeggio, and I wanna be able to play those arpeggios in four, four, and six, eight time signatures. Defining your goals is one of the most effective methods to improvement, and by defining your goals, I don't mean just saying them out loud, but actually writing them down or typing them out, holding yourself accountable. I think not a lot of people do this, but I feel like this alleviates a little bit of the mental side of practice and improvement for guitar players because we don't have to think about what we're gonna do when we sit down to play. It's already laid out for us and we can just go check. So I'd like you to leave comments on how you deal with this type of thing. I think it could be really helpful for those of us in the guitar community who deal with this, which is all of us at one point or another. I get questions like this all the time and I have made many videos that sort of address it, but as I grow I find new ways to cope and deal with certain things and well I'm just gonna keep sharing them with you guys. I will say that when you go through these processes, whatever you want to call them, uh, it really vitalizes you and refreshes you and it almost feels like getting a haircut. It's like ah new start, fresh outlook. Bam. You got this. Kick some ass and keep shredding.